My name is Anthony Patternis and I'm a mathematics teacher at Hopkins High School and I run a flipped classroom in my geometry classes. The basic theory behind a flipped classroom is you take what students normally did as homework, bring that into the classroom and move what was direct instruction, put it into a video format and put it outside of the instructional setting. So what the iPads do, it becomes a personalized and individualized experience for students within my classroom. It's an environment that engages students where they're at and gets them excited about what they're doing. I really do believe that the Hopkins Public Schools are a leader in innovation and the strong implementation of technology. My focus is on developing the skill set of the teachers. What happens is that intermittently they're just going to have this aha moment where suddenly they just can see a way to transform the delivery of their content in a way that really excites them because they know that it's going to better engage the students. That is the core focus of what we're doing. Um, we're seeing students more engaged and we're seeing students really grapple with the curriculum and want to go further with it using the digital devices. We're able to really hit learners where they are without anyone knowing. So for example, if I'm uh, teaching a lesson and we're reading a book, I can have leveled text so the kids can read at their own level. No one in the class needs to know that and that's because we're using iPads. So it's really dramatically shifted the way that we've done our instruction. Technology is important and I can't imagine my classroom without the tools that we have available, but it still comes down to good teaching. It's a matter of rethinking how you've done things in the past to infuse them with new technologies that kids are excited about. And that's what the iPads are allowing us to do. Working on the scale of deployments, you have to have something backing that up, some sort of a tool to make that management happen over the air. And when we can do that seamlessly in the background, uh, using the Casper suite to just enable those features, that's something that allows my staff to keep working on other tasks you know, that are much more important to keeping that technology available in the classroom. Our focus is connecting kids with learning, connecting kids with their teachers, connecting kids with other kids. Um, we're not thinking about connecting kids with technology. That technology is so integrated that we don't think of it as a separate thing. It is all part of the instructional strategies that we use every day in our classrooms. You have access to visual learning in a way that you could not have done. When I was a physiology and anatomy teacher and I was teaching about bones and muscles and nerves, I was drawing them on transparencies. And now you can see inside the human body and every student can do that at their seat at any time of the day. And that, you know, blows my mind. That's so exciting. Information is at kids' fingertips and we just need to kind of focus them on how to use that information. And if we do that, I think the sky's the limit for students.